Hola Coyotes, I'm Tynan Cameron. And I'm Taylor Southwick. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the Rundown. rundown. On today's episode, we talk to administration about the student Wi-Fi. And we take a look at the class of 2022. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag Hey Tynan, how do you feel about the student Wi-Fi? It's pretty neat, but I don't know much about it. Well, luckily for you, reporters met up with some administrators to get more information about the student Wi-Fi. Using the money from the 2016 bond, administration has purchased Wi-Fi for our students. The student Wi-Fi is something that I've been passionate about having for students since I joined Combs High School. It is one of those things that students need to have access to in based to 21st century learning and expectations. We have now purchased uh, in our district resources and materials that require students to be able to access technology and sometimes on their own devices based upon the opportunity within the classroom. This is your plan for the future. Technology will never go away. So you, when you are on this campus utilizing technology, utilize it for the future that you select for yourself, academically and professionally, because this is the structure you will have when you go off to college, career, military, training. You have to be able to access technology and use it for the intended purpose. The district has been working towards getting student Wi-Fi for a while now. The, the new student Wi-Fi is uh, something we've been working on for a couple of years. The Wi-Fi is uh, we've made it available for students for academic use. And so uh, one of the reasons why it's taken so long to do this is because we needed to get the equipment in place. The system that uh, the high school had before was um, outdated. It couldn't handle the use. And so uh, we've been working on updating the equipment, updating the network, and making it available so that uh, uh, the students would have availability to use that Wi-Fi. After we got a look into what administration thought, we asked students for their opinion on the new Wi-Fi. I was expecting just faster internet because I'd have to use my phone and it'd take 10 years in most of the buildings and now I could check my grades real quick. It's kind of sketch because it like sends pop-ups and stuff and I just like don't ever try using it because I feel like I'm going to blow up my phone. This Wi-Fi is available all over campus for teachers and students to use alike. Um, what have you been using the internet for in class? Mostly checking Jupiter and like pulling things up on YouTube that I need to look at for math stuff, but other than that, it's been mostly school stuff. Uh, I used it to go on my Google Drive uh, just to get some pictures of me. I'm in the photography class, so, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty good Wi-Fi, good speed. This has been Becca John reporting for The Rundown. Thanks to the administration for getting us our Wi-Fi. Yeah, I feel a real connection with everything now. Why do I do this to myself? Now on to sports with Kate and Ayana. Thanks you guys. Good morning Coyotes. I'm Ayana Tomatos. And I'm Kate Wiles. And we are here, as usual, to bring you up to date on all things Coyote sports. On this episode of The Rundown, we're going to take a recap back to the winter sports season. We're also going to talk to Gary Lee about what it takes to be a student athlete. But with spring sports starting on February 5th, coaches want you to know where to get info about tryouts. Boys tennis practice will be from 3.15 to 5.30 p.m. If you're interested, stop by Dr. Nelson's classroom, 487, and fill out player information sheets. The time is here. The date, February 6th. Boys volleyball is coming, and you, yes, you, need to play. How, you ask? Easy. Stop by Coach Laliberte's room to sign up and get your materials. Make sure to grab two, three, even 20 friends and stop by room 461. Track athletes, get your athletic packet turned in and your feed paid so you'll be ready to participate after school starting at 3 o'clock on the track. 
There's an event for everyone, throwing, jumping, sprinting, long distance, and more. If you have questions, run on down to Coach Johnson, Coach Miller, or Coach Vignes. Baseball players, stop by Coach Earl's room to sign up. There's a mandatory meeting Monday the 29th. The girls' soccer season wrapped up on Wednesday with a double overtime tie against first place Washington. The Lady Coyotes finished in third place in the Black Canyon region. Senior Mackenzie Cloud led the region in assists with 13 and was fifth in points and seventh in assists. Girls basketball is sitting in fifth place with three more games to play. Hallie Tucker is quietly putting together a solid junior season. She leads with her 170 rebounds in the region. She's also second in assists and third in points. Great job, Hallie. This past weekend, our wrestling finished second overall at the Apache Junction Tournament and had 13 individual placers. Isaiah Jacobs and Colton Shaw won individual championships and Jacobs was voted tournament MVP. Things seem to be wrapping up nicely as the Coyotes head toward the state wrestling tournament. It's been a rebuilding year for the boys' basketball team. Congratulations to Ammon Allen and Addison Craig being top five in rebounds. Also to Dylan Otterman and Addison Craig being top ten in blocks. We also had rundown reporters go talk to Gary Lee, who won Athlete of the Month. Every month, one student gets chosen to be the Athlete of the Month. This month, the athlete was senior Gary Lee. Um, I was in class just doing my work, and they took me out of class and told me, I mean, I don't know. It's been like a dream thing since I was a freshman. I always wanted Athlete of the Month. I thought that was pretty cool. I was very excited and happy about it. Coach Johnson nominated Gary for his great skills on and off the court. Oh, he had a great month. He had a great month of December in, into January. We had a tournament in Globe. He was fantastic there. And uh, before that, even when we were winning, he was doing a great job as an athlete. Plus, he's never been a worry. He has his grades up and he does a great job. Over the course of the basketball season, Gary and Coach Johnson have seen an improvement in Gary's performance. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I've, I've improved a lot. I've been working on my game 24-7 and it's, I'm really proud of myself for coming a long way for the season. Gary's always been a great basketball player. Now he's becoming a leader and he teaches kids, he helps the younger kids. He does a lot of great stuff for our team, both on the and off the court. Plus, he's our leading scorer. Never giving up is Gary's advice to be a great student athlete. Yeah, don't give up, have fun, play the sport you love, don't get frustrated. It's, it's a sport and nothing's 100% right, and that's it. This has been Crystal Grassi and Cade Wells reporting for The Rundown. Congratulations, Gary. And that's the game, Coyotes. Back to you, Taylor and Tynan. Mr. Smith's first musical is happening this year. Auditions for Your Good Man, Charlie Brown will take place on Thursday, February 15th from 2.30 to 5 p.m. in room 508. Please prepare a 30-second song and a short comedic monologue. See Mr. Smith for more details. FCCLA will host their fifth annual tea party on February 3rd from 11.30 to 1. This is an event for families to spend time having fun together. Enjoy tea, sandwiches, and other yummy snacks, including some of the gray stuff. There will be a photo booth and a snowball fight. Tickets are $2 per person and an $8 family ticket. Academic Decathlon meets in room 410 every Friday after school. Last week, 8th graders came for their annual tour of the high school. Rundown reporters were there to talk to them about starting high school. As second semester begins, planning for the next year begins too. Part of this planning is bringing incoming freshmen from Combs Middle School to tour our campus. They started their visit by having lunch and getting their own assembly planned by our student council. They were given a chance to see what student council, rush dance company, cheerleading, drama club, marching band, and sports were like at the high school. Following their assembly, the 8th graders were given their tour of our campus. During their tour, 8th graders told our reporters what they were most excited for in high school. Uh, the people, seeing everything, the experience. Probably all the experiences. <laughs> um, the football team. The incoming freshmen also addressed what their biggest fears for high school were. People. People. Me not passing. No. The class of 2022 will hopefully have great years at Combs High School. This has been Cassie Milliken reporting for The Rundown. Well, that's it for this episode, Coyotes. Thanks for watching, and remember to tune in for the next episode, which I'm sure will be equally as good from our mid-month crew. No, it won't. And from all of us here at The Rundown, 
Have a great weekend. weekend.